look at Florida and they're obviously a quality program, um, but they're 21 and 19, not a great overall record. Just kind of what, what I think they're eight and 10 in the league. What, what, what are your thoughts on Florida overall? Played an extremely tough non-conference schedule. You know, they, they played Florida state, I think three times and Miami uh, and they haven't done great. I get Florida state who's really good this year and maybe had a little more pitch and depth and, they, you know, that's where they some of their losses have come against some of the really good midweek teams. And then, uh, you know, league play, it's been up and down with with their pitching. I mean, offensively, they're strong. They've hit a bunch of home runs, I think like 90. Uh, you know, their first baseman, left-handed pitcher, Caglone, he's unbelievable. When I mean, you look at his numbers, he's hitting 410 with 25 homers, and he's only struck out 14 times, which is – it's amazing. I mean, he swings at pitches that are eye high and hits them over the lights. He hits it. He he swings at bad pitches, but he hits them, and he hits them hard. Uh, yeah, they're they're just uh, they're really dangerous and they're very talented. Um, they just had some young pitchers that maybe are a year away that they've tried to depend on in midweek games that have hurt them. You know, league play. It's it it's just a good league. I mean, you you can say this team's better than that team, or you know they're supposed to do this. Um, I don't look at it that way. I just man, they're all they're all good. I mean, there's some teams that are struggling that you kind of shake your head, like Auburn or whoever, but, but they can hit or they can do this, but they don't they don't finish games uh, on the mound. So, but I look at them as one of the more talented teams in the SEC. They have a lot of pro talent. Guys are going to sign for a lot of money this year, next year. Um, you know, we just, you know, we just need to continue to do what we're doing, and that's throw strikes and field the ball and score enough runs to win. Yeah, it was uh, playing, uh, keep the rotation the same. So, for the most part, we're going to go Hagen game one, and then we'll go Brady Tiger game two. And we're going to go TBA game three. You feel like Mason? I know he didn't have a good outing. Just or is he okay? Or kind of what? What? No, what's your thought he, process? He has a twisted ankle, so he is injured. Yeah, he twisted his ankle uh, doing some drill work. Coach Hobbs and him and a few other pitchers, and uh, we're going to give him this week off to let that heal. We could probably put him on the roster. We could probably pitch him. He's probably ninety percent, but. We want to make sure that next week and going forward, he's a hundred percent. Um, you obviously got good pitch and depth. How do you, whoever you, I, I'm, I'm sure whoever you throw Sundays based on who you throw Friday and Saturday, but uh, do you yeah. feel good that you guys obviously have quality depth there? Yeah, I mean, we we'll we'll go with the best option. We could staff it. We could, you know, pitch it like a Tuesday game. We'll we'll just we'll figure it out after after we've finished a couple of games on on who we're going to throw at least start, you know, really who we're going to start, you know, whoever we start probably just going to go a few innings anyway. Thanks. Yeah. Dave, uh, I, I'm assuming you've looked at the forecast. Uh, just kind of what, what are your people telling you and how do you feel about the, maybe the weather impact and things this weekend? Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking tomorrow on Friday, as of now, we have a window to play seven to 10 or, five to 10 or whatever it looks like where it's not quite, you know, such a big percentage. Now that could change obviously tomorrow and then closer to game time. And, you know, if percentages go up, their storms are going to roll in. We won't start that game. Um, but, you know, we're planning on playing tomorrow at seven. I think it's a TV game. That's why we're playing at seven. Uh, and then Sunday does not look good at all. Uh, looks like it's anywhere from 80 to 90% all day. So, uh, looks like there's a window on Saturday, most of the day, where we could probably play two. So basically looking to try to play tomorrow, and and then we will try to figure this out today if we're going to move the Sunday game to Saturday. Because I know there's a lot of fans coming, and um, we're probably going to – I think the SEC rule states if you're going to make a decision to move a, a game, you know – say a day and a half out you got to have at least 80 percent and uh we're definitely at 80 and 90 and just listen to the 
local people speak about the weather on Sunday. They said it probably is not going to go away in all day. So we'll do what we can to get three in. And so I think for us to do that, we've definitely, we got to, it sounds like we've definitely got to get a game in tomorrow if we're going to get three in and then kind of go from there. If we, if we played one Friday and we only got one in Saturday due to weather, or we didn't play Friday, we played two Saturday, then, you know, they, we'll have to just sit on Sunday and see if we can get it in. But right now I would say that decisions will be made later on today about what we're going to try to do on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, you only threw Bybee for a couple innings the other day. Was that in anticipation, did you already know Molina, y'all were giving him the week off? And uh, I guess would Fisher also be, you know, an option there as well? Yeah, that was exactly what went on because we <laughs> would have thrown five more. So that was a good observation. And you mentioned Caglione as, as a hitter earlier. What what do you see from him as a, as a pitcher? He seems to be their most consistent guy on the mound too. Well, obviously his stuff is amazing. I mean, teams are hitting right around 200 against him. Um, he'll walk you every now and then, but he also strike you out. He's just kind of hard to hit. Big old guy throwing downhill like that from the left side, and it's it's firm. And uh, you know, you just you just hope you can put together an inning or two on him, or you get his pitch count up. But he's he's awfully talented. I mean, he's one of those guys that obviously, if he wasn't such a good hitter, he's going to go probably in the first round as a pitcher. Uh, and if he wasn't, you know. Teams will have to make that decision, but he's probably going to be drafted to hit is what I'm hearing. And, uh, you know, he's he's just he, – when you see him, you'll see how big he is. And his development's been amazing, what he's done over the last two and a half, three years. He's continued to get better. Does he remind you of anybody, any other two-way guys that you've faced over the years? Oh, man, not – I don't know because of the power. I mean, it's – Big left left guy. I, and no nobody really jumps out at me right now on that. I mean, there's been a couple of kids that there was a kid at Baylor a long time ago when I was coaching in Nebraska that pitched and also hit a ton of home runs sitting in the middle of their order. Can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he'd probably be the closest thing. Dudley. Coach, when you, you, you're uncertain on a, a Sunday starter or whenever that game will be played, how good does it feel to know how many options you have at the back of that bullpen and really the middle of the you know middle of the game? Well, at least we know that we've got some guys that have pitched in some big games and big situations, leverage situations, and that and that they throw strikes. You know, uh, you know we've done so well in midweek games this year. Honestly, is because our midweek guys throw it over the plate and teams have hit it but we haven't been giving them runs as far as walks and hit by pitches and stuff like that. So at least we have some guys with experience that, that we, we know they're going to come in there and, and make them earn it. With the atmosphere this weekend, you've got a guy, you know, several guys who will be at the top of the, the draft, it appears. So just talk a little bit about the atmosphere you expect this weekend. Well, I know it's highly anticipated series and just, ticket demand and people calling me, texting me, wanting to get tickets, friends and former teammates and just, you know, coming around, want to watch a game. And uh, this seems to be the the one they want to see. Um, it's kind of a bummer on the weather, but, you know, if you're a baseball fan, we play two on Saturday, you can, you, can, you know, you can have a long day at the park, but I see a lot of talent. Uh, you know, you just look at some of their guys, even – you know, it's like Colby, you know, Colby Shelton, the shortstop, left-handed hitter. He's going to be a good draft. He's sophomore draft eligible in the first baseman. Second baseman's a good player. I mean, you can go on and on. And then our guys, obviously, a lot of a lot of high-end drafts, top five rounders that, that'll be on the field this weekend. Thanks. Tom. Dave, uh, I don't know if there's much of a book on Cagliano pitching to him. Uh, he looks like he's hit everything. How, how do you try to handle that guy? Yeah, we were just in there talking about it. I think how you handle him is you get the guys out in front of him. Don't let them get on base. And, uh, you know, because he's he's going to get his. He's going to take his swings, and he's going to make contact, and the ball explodes off his bat. Uh, uh, how do we pitch him? I don't know. You know, you just – 
you know, I'm sure everybody's tried everything. You know, you pitch him out of the zone a little bit. He still seems to find a way to get the barrel on it. Um, you know, it's pretty amazing. You know, he's walked 24 times, but only struck out 14. A lot of times a big guy like that, he might have walked 50 times this year. But obviously he makes contact, and it's pretty good contact because, I mean, when you hit 25 homers and you're still hitting over 400, it's uh, that's a pretty good stat. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to pitch him, hopefully very, very cautiously. Their last Friday, last couple of Friday games haven't gone so well. Uh, what do you see from their Friday and Saturday pitchers? Yeah, I mean, they moved it around a little bit. Uh, they, they've thrown Neely, who's been really a – he was a really good reliever for him last year. He started, I think, eight games and pitched in, I don't know, 15, 16 games, and then uh, they, they've, they've, I think they're going to start a big, 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 big left-handed pitcher or freshman, and he's on a pitch count, so I think he's starting on, uh, I think tomorrow, and uh, you know, so we figure he, they just want to get two or three out of him because he's on a on a count. You know, I don't know. You know, they they've struggled a little bit, but it's talented stuff. I mean, it's it's stuff. It's not like they're throwing guys up there that throwing 87, 88 miles an hour from the right side, just trying to trick you a little bit for a few innings. Um, these guys have really good arms. They throw hard. Um, like I said, they're, they're one of those teams that, you know, it, whenever, whenever they start winning, they might not stop. So we've, we've got to play well. Uh, you know, we, we've tried to watch as much video on these guys and get information and, you know, this time of year, there's a lot out there. If, the, if guys have been uh, on the mound, we've seen a lot. And it's uh, quality stuff. It's just, you know, maybe they're getting behind in the count and their uh, hitters are taking advantage of that. Hmm. Um, is moving tomorrow's first pitch up even in the realm of possibility because it's TV or, or how does that get handled? Yeah, I don't. I think I think it would be. It's something that we're going to look at, too. Uh, but as of now. I mean, you know, it looks like we do have a window later in the day, but yeah, I mean, I would think you can move it up. I, I know it's a, I think it's the network. It's tomorrow, the network. So, I mean, I mean, we got to get these in. If it was just, I would say if we had a beautiful day on Saturday and Sunday, we just try to play at normal time because of TV. But with the Sunday issue, two days to get three in possibly, we got to do what we got to do. Come back around, Bob. Yeah, it seems like. Well, what, what, what's the point of having the game on TV if it gets rained out? You know, so. Good point. Uh, yeah, but it kind of follows what you were saying about Florida. You figure, man, these guys are talented. They're going to figure it out at some point, and you just don't want to be playing them when they do. Is that is there a sort of a feeling like that? Well, I think that we're a really confident team, and we we feel like that we can compete with anybody in the country most every day. Uh, I mean, we just we don't talk about. Florida as far as a team I mean as coaches I mean our job is to try to you know know as much about our, our opponent as we can going into the weekend but you know they're just they're good like everybody else I mean they it's Florida a lot of good players in Florida they know what they're doing they they've won a national championship they've won SEC championships they've played in a few other championship series over the last 15 years and uh so they're good and uh, baseball can be a interesting sport sometimes. Things don't go your way or whatever. Uh, it's, uh, you know, to us, it's University of Florida coming in here, but it's another series, and we're just going to try to win game one and go from there. Yeah, I think uh, you you guys didn't play Florida last year, so, so you didn't see Caglione or however you say his name when he really took off. I think as a freshman, he had maybe seven or eight home runs. Do you remember him as a freshman and just – you you mentioned earlier, it seems like he's made a lot of progress since then, obviously. Yeah. Well, he, you know, I, I remember last year at the uh, conference tournament, him and I were on the elevator together. We were the only two. We were going up, and I said something like, man, you're a lot bigger than I realized. And, uh, I mean, we had a good conversation. He's a good kid and uh, friendly, but he is a big kid. And I'd say not kid anymore. He's a full-grown man. And, uh you know, when you when you have some experience and you're confident with development, 
you know, you, I could see it. I could see it that he's having the year he's having. I mean, he is, he was a prospect as a high school kid and one of those guys that Florida was just hoping wouldn't sign. And I, you know, he, this is another example. This is going to be, that was a really smart move on his part because he's going to be a high, high first round pick and, you know, be doing really well uh, come August. Thanks, Dave. Hodge. Dave, I think you mentioned after the game on Tuesday that that Sprague lot was going to be good to go. Is he bet, like, is he a hundred percent back in the mix to start or? Yeah, he's going to, he's going to play. He's, I, I don't know if he's, he'll ever be a hundred percent. But he's uh, he he hit with the team yesterday and uh, he looked good. But yeah, he's we'll get him back in the lineup this weekend. And I assume you know since he started on uh, the midweek game, but digs his shoulders all back to to hundred percent, or is it kind of the same thing? Yeah, no, he's if he's pain free, he's good. You know, he's had some swelling, inflammation in there, and had some treatment a few days off, and uh, he seems to be swinging the bat as good as he was early in the season. And uh, so we're, we're excited to get him back. And I, I can't remember if you mentioned it earlier, Molina's uh, foot, did, which, which foot is, it? is it a push off foot or what? I think it's his landing foot. Okay. Yeah, that's, he was doing some dry work, what we call it without throwing the ball and kind of rolled it. Gotcha. Yeah. Doug, will you pop back on anything else? <laughs> All right, coach. Thanks for your time. Okay, guys. See you.